assalamu alaikum peace be upon you welcome back to my channel so we are doing chapter three of the quran called al imran so let's begin bismillah i will be reading it reciting it in the arabic Alif la mim Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyu al qayyum Nazzala alayka al kitaba bil haqq Saddika lima bayna yadayhi wa anzala at tawrata wal injil min qablu hudan lin nasi wa anzala al furqan inna allazina kafaru bi ayatillah Lahum azabun shadid <coughs> Wallahu azizun zuntiqam Wallahu azizun zuntiqam Inna allaha la yakhfa alayhi shay'un Fil ardi wa la fil sama Huwa allazi yusawwi irukum fil akhami Kayfa yasha لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم هو الذي أنزل عليك الكتاب منه آيات مخكمات هن أم الكتاب وأخار متشابهات فأما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ فيت تبعون ما تشابه منه ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء تهويله وما يخلم تهويله إلا الله والرسخون في العلم يقولون آمنا به كل من عند ربنا وما يذكر إلا أولو العلباب ربنا لا تغزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه إن الله لا يخلف الميعاد إن الذين كفروا لا تخني أنهم أموالهم ولا أولادهم من, من الله شيئا وأولئك هم وقود النار كده بآل فرعون والذين من قبلهم كذبوا بآياتنا فأخذهم الله بذنوبهم والله شديد الإقاب كل كل الذين كفروا ستخلبون وتخشرون إلى جهنم وبيخس المهاد قد كان لكم آية في فيتين التقطا فيعة في تقاتل في سبيل الله وأخرى كافرة يهرونهم مثليهم رأي العين والله يعيد بنسره من يشاء إن في ذلك لإبراة لأولي الأبسار زين للناس حب الشهوات من النساء والبنين والقناتير المقنترة من الزهاب والفدة والكي والخيل المسوّمة والأنعام والحصر والحرس ذلك متاع الحياة الدنيا والله عنده حسن المعاب كل أنبئكم بخير من ذلكم للذين اتكعوا عند ربهم جنات تجري من تختها الأنخار خالدين فيها وأزواج متحرة وردوان من الله والله بسير بالعباد الذين يقولون ربنا إننا آمنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكنا عذاب النار 
Assabirina wassadikina walqatnitina walmunfikina walmustaghfirina bil ashar Shahidallahu annahu la ilaha illa huwa wal malaikatu wal ulul ilmi qa'iman bil kist La ilaha illa huwa al-azizul hakim Inna ad-dina inda allahi al-islam Wa makhtalaf al-lazina utu al-kitab illa min ba'dima Ja'ahum al-ilmu bakhiyam baynahum Wa man yakfur bi ayati allahi fa inna allaha sari'u al-hisab فَإِنْ هَاجُوكَ فَكُلْ أَسْلَمْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّهِ وَمَنْ اتَّبَعًا وَكُلْ لِلَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ وَالْأُمِّيِّينَ أَأَسْلَمْتُمْ فَإِنْ أَسْلَمْ أَسْلَمْهُ فَقَدْ اخْتَدَوْا وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّمَا عَلَيْكَ الْبَلَاغِ والله بصير بالعباد إن الذين يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون النبيين بغير حق ويقتلون الذين يحمرون بالكست من الناس فبشر فبشرهم بعذاب عليم أولئك الذين هبتت أهمالهم في الدنيا والآخرة وما لهم من ناصرين ألم تر إلى الذين أوتوا نسيبا من الكتاب يدعون إلى كتاب الله ليحكم بينهم ثم يتولى فريق منهم وهم مخردون ذلك بأنهم قالوا لن تمسن النار إلا أياما مهدودات وغرمهم في, دي في, في دينهم ما كانوا يفترون فكيف إذا جمعناهم ليوم لا ريب فيه ويفيت كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يزلمون قل اللهم مالك الملك تحتي الملك من تشاء وتنزع الملك ممن تشاء وتعز من تشاء وتزل من تشاء بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير تولج الليل في النهار وتولج النهار في الليل وتخرج الحي من الميت وتخرج الميت من الحي وترزق من تشاء بغير حساب لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء إلا أن تتكو منهم تقاه ويهزهركم الله نفسه وإلى الله المسير قل إن تخفوا ما في سدوركم أو تبدوه يعلمه الله ويعلم ما في السماوات وما في الأرض والله على كل شيء قدير يوم تجد كل نفس ما عملت من خير مغدرا وما عملت من سوء تود لو أن بينها وبينه أمدا بعيدا ويهزئكم الله نفسه والله رعوف بالعباد قل إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله 
ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم قل عطيعوا الله والرسول فإن تولوا فإن الله لا يحب الكافرين إن الله يستفى آدم ونوحا وآل إبراهيم وآل إمران على العالمين زرية بعضها من بعض والله سميع عليم إذ قالت امرأة إمران رب إني نزرت لك ما في بتني محررا فتقبل مني إنك أنت السميع العليم فمن فم فلما ودعتها قالت ربي إني ودعتها أنسى والله أعلم بما ودعت وليس الذكر وال وليس الذكر كالأنسى وإني سميتها مريم وإني أؤيزها بك وذريتها من الشيطان الرجيم فتكبلها ربها بقبول لن حسن وأنبتها نباتا حسنا وكف لها زكريا كلما دخل عليها زكريا المخراب وجد عندك رزقا قال يا مريم أنا لك هذا قالت هو من عند الله إن الله يرزق من يشاء بغير حساب هنالك دعا زكريا ربه قال رب هب لي من لدنك زرية طيبة إنك سميع الدعاء فناده الملائكة وهو قائم يسلي في المخراب أن الله يبشركم يبشرك بيحيى مصدقا بكلمة من الله وسيدا و حسورا ونبيا من السالهين قال رب أنا يكون لي غلام وقد بلغني الكبار وامرأتي آكر قال كذلك الله يفعل ما يشاء قال رب رب اجعل لي آية قال آيتك ألا تكلم الناس ثلاثة أيام إلا رمزا واذكر ربك كثيرا وسبح بالأشي والإبكار وإذ قالت الملائكة يا مريم إن الله استفاك وتحرك واستفاك على نساء العالمين يا مريم اقنوتي لربك واسجدي واركعي مع الراكعين ذلك من أنباء الغيب نوهيه إليك, إليك وما كنت لديهم إذ يلكون أكلامهم أيهم يك مريم وما كنت لديهم إذ يختسمون إذ قالت الملائكة يا مريم إن الله يبشرك بكلمة من اسمه المسيح إيسى بن مريم وجيها في الدنيا والآخرة ومن المقربين ويكلم الناس في المخد وكخلا ومن السالهين قالت ربي أنا يكون لي ولد ولم يمسسني بشر قال كذلك الله يخلق ما يشاء إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يكون له كن فيكون ويعلمك 
كل كتاب والحكمة والتوراة والإنجيل ورسولا إلى بني إسرائيل أني قد جئتكم بآية من ربكم أني أخلق لكم من الدين كهيئة التير فأنفخ فيه فيكون تيرا بإذن الله وأبرئ الأكمه والأبرس وأحيي الموتى بإذن الله وأنبئكم بما تأكلون وما تدخرون في بيوتكم إن في ذلك لآية لكم إن كنتم مؤمنين ومصدقا لما بين يدي من التوراة ولأهل لكم بعض الذي حرم عليكم وجهتكم بآيات من ربكم فاتقوا الله وأطيعون إن الله ربي وربكم فاخبدوه هذا سرات مستقيم فلما أهس إيسا منهم الكفر قال من أنساري إلى الله قال الهواريون نحن أنسار الله آمنا بالله واشهد بأننا مسلمون ربنا آمنا بما أنزلته واتبع نرسول فكتبنا مع الشاهدين ومكروا ومكر الله والله خير الماكرين إذ قال الله يا إيسا إني متوفيك ورافعك إلي ومتحئرك من الذين كفروا وجاعل الذين اتبعوك فوق الذين كفروا إلى يوم القيامة ثم إلي مرجعكم فأخكم بينكم فيما كنتم فيه تختلفون فأما الذين كفروا فأعذبهم عذابا شديدا في الدنيا والآخرة وما لهم من ناصرين وأما الذين آمنوا وأملوا الصالحات فيوفيهم أجورهم والله لا يحب الظالمين ذلك نتلوه علينا عليك من الآيات وزيغ وزيغ الحكيم إن مثل إيسا إن دلاه كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون الحق من ربك فلا تكن من الممترين فمن حاجك فيهم من بعض ما جاءك من العلم فكل تعالوا نهدؤ أبناءنا وأبناءكم ونساءنا ونساءكم وأنفسنا وأنفسكم ثم نبتهل فنجعل لنة الله على الكاذبين إن هذا لهو كساس الحق وما من إله إلا الله وإن الله لهو العزيز الحكيم فإن تولوا فإن الله عليم بالمفسدين قل يا أخل الكتاب تعالوا إلى كلمة سواء بيننا وبينكم ألا نخبد إلا الله ولا نشرك به شيئا ولا يتخذ بعضنا بعضا أربابا من دون الله فإن تولوا فقولوا اشهدوا بأننا مسلمون يا أخل الكتاب لما تهاجون في إبراهيم وما أنزلت 
التَّوْرَاةُ وَالْإِنْجِيلُ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ أَفَلَا تَخْكِلُونَ هَا أَنْتُمْ هَا أُولَاءِ هَا جَجْتُمْ فِي مَا لَكُمْ بِهِ إِلْمٌ إِلْمٌ فَلِمَا تُحَجُّونَ فِي مَا لَيْسَ لَكُمْ بِهِ إِلْمٌ وَاللَّهُ يَخْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَخْلَمُونَ مَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَهُودِيًّا وَلَا نَسْرَانِيًّا وَلَكِنْ كان حنيفا مسلما وما كان من المشركين إن أو للناس بإبراهيم للذين تبعوه وهذا النبي والذين آمنوا والله ولي المؤمنين والدت تائفة من أهل الكتاب لو يدلونكم وما يدلون إلا أنفسهم وما يشعرون يا أهل الكتاب لما تكفرون بآيات الله وأنتم تشهدون يا أهل الكتاب لما تلبسون الحق بالباطل وتكتمون الحق وأنتم تخلمون وقال التائفة من أهل الكتاب آمنوا بالذين أنزل على الذين آمنوا وجه النهار وكفروا آخره لعلهم ترجعون ولا تؤمنوا إلا لمن تبع دينكم كل إن الهدى هدى الله أن تحاء أن يخطى أحد مثل ما أوتيتم أو يحاجوكم عند ربكم كل إن الفضل بيد الله يخطيه من يشاء والله واسع عليم يختص برحمته من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم ومن أهل الكتاب من انته من هو بكنتار يعده إليك ومنهم من انته من هو بدينار لا يعده إليك إلا ما تمت عليه قائما دمت عليه كائما ذلك بأنهم قالوا ليس علينا في الأميين سبيل ويقولون على الله الكذب وهم يخلمون بلا من أوفى بأخده واتقى فإن الله يحب المتقين إن الذين يشترون بأهد الله وأيمانهم سمنا قليلا أولئك لا لا خلاق لهم في الآخرة ولا يكلمهم الله ولا ينظر إليهم يوم الكيامة ولا يزكيهم ولهم عذاب أليم وإن من هم لفريقا يلهون ألسنتهم بالكتاب لتخسبوه من الكتاب وما هو من الكتاب ويقولون هو من عند الله وما هو من عند الله ويقولون على الله الكذب وهم يخلمون ما كان لبشر إن يخطيهم الله الكتاب والحكم والنبوة ثم يقول للناس كونوا إبادا لي من دون الله ولكن كونوا ربانيين بما كنتم تعلمون الكتاب وبما كنتم تدرسون ولا يخمركم أن تتخذوا الملائكة 
والنبيين أربابا أيحمركم بالكفر بعد إذ أنتم مسلمون وإذ أخذ الله ميثاق النبيين لما آتيتكم من كتاب وحكمة ثم جاءكم رسول مصدق لما معكم لا تؤمنون به ولا تنصرون قال أكررتم وأخذتم على ذلكم إثري قالوا, قالوا أكررنا قال فاشهدوا فأنا, فأنا معكم من الشاهدين فمن تولى بعد ذلك فأولئك هم الفاسكون أفغير دين الله يبخون وله أسلم من في السماوات والأرض توعا وكرها وإليه ترجعون Okay, I'm going to stop now. So I did verse 1 all the way to verse 83 of chapter 3 in Arabic. So now let's do the translation of the meaning in English. So all that I just recited in Arabic, now I'm going to say it in English. And tomorrow I will do the rest of this chapter. Alif Lam Mim. Allah. None has the right to be worshipped but he. It is he who has sent down the book to you with truth, confirming what came before it. And he sent down the Torah and the Injil, the original Torah and Injil, aforetime as a guidance to mankind. And he sent down the criterion. Truly, those who disbelieve or in the verses, the signs of God, for them there is a severe torment punishment and Allah is almighty all able of retribution truly nothing is hidden from God in the earth or in the heaven it is he who shapes you in the womb as he pleased there is none worthy to be worshipped but he the almighty the all wise it is he who has sent down to you the book in it are verses that are entirely clear they are the foundation of the book and other not entirely clear. So as for those in whose hearts there is a deviation from the truth, they follow that which is not entirely clear, seeking only problems and mischief and seeking for its hidden meanings. But none knows its hidden meaning except God. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, we believe in it, the whole of it is from our Lord, and none receive admonition except people of understanding. They say, our Lord, let not our hearts deviate from the truth after you have guided us and grant us mercy from you. Truly, you are the bestower. Our Lord, verily, it is you who will gather mankind together on the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. Verily, God never breaks his promise. Verily, those who disbelieve, neither their properties nor their children will avail them, will help them whatsoever against God. It is they who will be fuel of the fire. Like the behavior of the people of Pharaoh and those before them, they also deny the truth. They deny the signs, the verses of God. So God sees them, destroy them because of their sins, and God is severe in punishment. Say to those who disbelieve, you will be defeated and gathered together to, in the hellfire, and worse indeed is that place of rest. There has already been a sign for you in the two armies that met during battle. One was fighting in the cause of God, and as for the other, they were disbelievers. The believers saw the disbelievers with their own eyes twice their number, although they were three times their number, and God supports with his victory whoever he wills. Verily, in this is a sign, a lesson for those who understand. Beautified for people is the love of things they covet, women, children, much of gold and silver, wealth. 
money, branded beautiful horses, cattle, and well-tilled land. This is the pleasure of the present world, the worldly life, but God has the excellent return with him, meaning paradise. Say, shall I inform you of things better than those? For the pious people, they are gardens with their Lord, underneath which river flow. The rain is their eternal abode, their final destination, their home, and they will have purified mates and God will be pleased with them, and God is all seeing of whatever his slaves are doing. Those who say, Our Lord, we have indeed believed in you, so forgive us our sins and save us from the punishment of the fire. They are those who are patient, those who are true in faith and in worship and obedience to God, those who spend of the wealth that God has given them and those who pray and beg God's pardon in the last hour of the night. God bear witness that none has the right to be worshiped but him and the angels and those having knowledge. He also maintained his creation in justice. There is none worthy of being worshiped except he, the almighty, the all wise. Truly the religion with Allah is submission. The religion with God is submission. Those who were given the scripture, they did not differ except out of mutual jealousy and envy after the knowledge had come to them. And whoever disbelieves in the sign and verses of God, then God surely is very swift, very quick in calling to account. So if they dispute with you, say to them, I have submitted myself to God and so have those who follow me. And say to those who were given the scripture and to those who are illiterate do you also submit yourselves to god in submission into total surrendering if they do they are rightly guided but if they turn away your duty is only to convey the message to them verily those who disbelieve in the verses of god and kill the prophets without any cause and right and kill those people who order just dealings then announce to them a painful punishment there are those whose work will be lost in this world and in the hereafter, and they will have nobody to help them. Have you not seen those who have been given a portion of the scripture? They are being invited to the book of God to settle their affair and their dispute. Then a party of them turned away, and they are very, very wrongdoers. This is because they say the fire shall not touch us, but for numbers of days. And that which they used to invent regarding their religion has deceived them. How will it be when we gather them together on the day about which there is no doubt, meaning the day of resurrection, and each person will be paid in full for what he or she has earned, and they will not be dwelt with unjustly. Say, O God, possessor of the kingdom, you give the kingdom to whom you will, and you take the kingdom from whom you will, and you undo with honor whom you will and you humiliate whom you will in your hand is the good verily you are able to do all things you make the night to enter into the day and you make the day to enter into the night you bring the living out of the dead and you bring the dead out of the living and you give wealth and sustenance to whoever you will without limit let not the believers take the disbelievers as allies instead of the believers and whoever does that will never be helped by god in any way except if you indeed fear a danger from them and god warns you against himself and god to him is the final return say whether you hide what is in your breast or conceal it reveal it god already knows it and he knows what is in the heavens and what is in us on us and God is able to do all things. On the day when every person will be confronted with all the good they have done and all the evil they have done, they will wish that there were a great distance between them and their evil. And God warns you against himself and God is full of kindness to his servants. Say, if you really love God, then follow me. Accept submission, total pure monotheism and worship of God and God alone. God will love you and forgive you your sins, and God is oft forgiving, most merciful. Say, obey God and obey the messenger, but if they turn away, then God does not like the disbelievers. God chose Adam, Noah, the family of Abraham, and the family of Imran above all 
human beings of their times, offspring one of the other. And God is all hearer. He hears everything and he knows everything. Remember when the wife of Imran said, Oh my Lord, I have vowed to you what the child that is in my womb to be dedicated for your services in the temple, in the synagogue. So accept this from me. Verily you are the all hearer, the all knowing. Then when she gave birth to the baby, she said, Oh my Lord, I have given birth to a baby girl. And God knew better what she has given birth to. And the male child is not like the female child. And I have named her Mary. And I seek refuge with you for her and for her offspring from the devil, Satan, the outcast. So her Lord accepted her prey. He made her grow in a good manner and put her under the care of Zachariah. Every time Zachariah entered the temple to visit her, he found her with food. So he said, Oi, hey, Mary, where do you get this food? She said, This is from God, Allah. Verily, God provides sustenance to whom he wills without limit. At that time, Zachariah invoked and prayed to God, saying, Oh my God, grant me from you a good offspring. You are indeed the all hearer, the all knowing. Then the angel called him while he was standing in prayer in a private chamber. God gives you glad tiding of John the Baptist, confirming uh, the word of God. Noble keeping away from sexual relations for, with women, a prophet from among the righteous people. He said, oh my Lord, how can I have a son when I'm so old, so old, so very old? And my wife is barren. She can no longer ha be pregnant. God said, God does whatever he wills. He said, oh my Lord, make me a sign so I can see and know. Your sign is that you shall not speak to anyone for three days except with signals. And remember your Lord very much and glorify your Lord in the morning, in the afternoon. And remember when the angels said to Mary, Hey Mary, verily God has chosen you, purified you and chosen you above all the women of your time. Oh Mary, submit yourself with obedience to your Lord, God, Allah, Creator by worshiping none other but him and him alone and prostrate yourself and bow down al along with those who bow down. This is a part of the news of the unseen that we revealed to you and you didn't know about them. They were not with you, with, you were not with them when they cast lots with their pen as to which of them would be charged with the care of the little girl Mary. Nor were you with them when they started arguing. Remember when the angel said, Oh Mary, verily God give you glad tiding of a word, be, and he was, Jesus, your son. From him, his name will be the Messiah, Isa, the son of Mary, Jesus, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter. And will, he will be one of those very close near to God. He will speak to the people as an infant, as a little baby, and he will speak to them as an adult, and he will be one of the righteous. She said, Oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He said, So it will be, because God creates what he wills. When he said something and he decreed, he just needs to say, Be and it is. And he will teach him the book and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel. And he will make him a messenger to the children of Israel saying, I have come to you as a sign from your Lord that I designed for you out of clay, a figure like that of a bird. And I breathe into it and it become a real bird by the permission of God Allah. And I heal whoever is blind and also the leper. And I bring the dead back to life, but only by God's permission. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your homes. Surely in that is a sign for you if you believe. And I have come confirming that which was before me of the Torah. And I have come to you as a proof from my Lord and your Lord. So fear God and obey me. 
truly god is my lord and your lord so worship him alone this is a straight path then when jesus came to know of their disbelief he said who will be my helper my helpers in god's cause so the disciples said we are the helpers of god we believe in god and we bear witness that we submit to god and god alone oh our lord we believe in what we have you have sent down and we follow the messenger jesus christ so write us down among those who bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but you god allah and the disbelievers they plan to kill jesus christ and allah also planned too and allah is the best of those who plan and remember when allah said oh jesus i will take you and raise you to myself and clear you of the false accusation and statement that you are my son of those who disbelieve and i will make those who follow you superior to those who disbelieve in the oneness of god till the day of judgment then you will return to me and i will judge between you in the matters in which you used to dispute as to those who disbelieve i will punish them with a severe punishment in this world and in the hereafter and they will have no one to help them and as for those who believe in the oneness of god allah and they do good deeds righteous good deeds allah will pay them their reward in full and god allah does not like the wrongdoers the evil doers this is what we recite to you of the verses and the wise remember remembrance verily the likeness of jesus in front of god is the same likeness of adam the first man he created him from dust then he said to him be and adam was this is the truth from your lord so be not of those who doubt then whoever disputes with you concerning jesus christ after all this knowledge has come to you say to them come let us call our sons and our and your sons our women and your women ourselves and yourselves then we pray and invoke sincerely the curse of god upon those who lie very this is a true story of prophet jesus and none has the right to be worshipped but god allah the one and the only true god who has neither a wife nor a child and indeed god allah is the almighty the all wise and if they turn away and do not accept this then surely god is all aware of those who do mischief say to them all people of the scripture come to a word that is just between us and you that we worship none but god allah the creator and that we ascribe and associate no partners with him and that none of us shall take others as lord except god allah then if they turn away say to them bear witness that we are believers and we submit to god we are muslims O oh, people of the scripture why do you dispute about abraham while the torah and the gospel were not even revealed until after him have you then no sense verily you are those who have disputed about that of which you have no knowledge why do you then dispute concerning that which you have no knowledge it is allah who knows and you know not abraham was neither a jew nor a christian but he was a true believer a muslim he believed in the oneness of god verily among mankind you have the best claim to abraham are those who followed him and this prophet and those who have believed and god is the protector and helper of the of the believers uh, a group of the people of the scripture wish to lead you astray but they shall not lead astray anyone except themselves and they don't even realize it O oh, people of the scripture, why do you disbelieve in the verses, the proof about Prophet Muhammad? Because he is in your book, the Torah and the gospel, and you bear witness to that truth. O oh, people of the scripture, why do you mix truth with falsehood and you hide the truth while you know very well? And a group of the people of the scripture say, believe in the morning in that which he revealed to the believers and rejected at the end of the day so that they may turn back and believe no one except the one who follows your religion say 
Verily, right guidance is the guidance of God. And do not believe that anyone can receive like that which you have received. Otherwise, they would engage in you in argument before your Lord. Say, all the blessings, the bounties is in the hand of God. He grants to whomever he wills. And God is all sufficient for his creation, his creature's needs, all knowing. He selects for his mercy whomever he pleases. And God is the owner of great bounty. Among the people of the scripture is he who, if entrusted with a great amount of wealth, will readily pay it back to you. And among them there is he who, if entrusted with a single silver coin, will not repay it to you unless you constantly stand demanding because they say there is no blame on us to betray and take the properties of the illiterate Arabs. But they tell a lie against God while they know very well. Yes, whoever fulfills his pledge and fear God must. Verily, then God loves those who are pious. Verily, those who purchase, who buy a small gain at the cost of God's covenant and their oath, they shall have no portion in the hereafter. Neither will God speak to them, nor look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and they shall have a terrible, painful punishment. And verily among them is a party who distort the book with their tongue as they read, so that you may think it is from the book, but it is not from the book. And they say, this is from God, but it is not from God. And they speak a lie against God while they know very well. It's a lie. If it is possible for any human being to whom God has given the book and knowledge and the wisdom, be my say to the people, be my worshippers rather than gods. On the contrary, he would say, be you learned men of religion who practice what they know and also preach others because you are teaching the book and you study it. Nor would he order you to take angels and prophets as gods. Would he order you to disbelieve after you have believed and submitted to God? And remember when God took the covenant of the prophets saying, take Whatever I gave you from the book and the wisdom, understanding of the laws, divine scripture, and afterwards there will come to you a prophet confirming what is with you. You must then believe in him and help him. God said, do you agree to it? And will you take up my covenant, which I conclude with you? They say, we agree. We, he said, then bear witness and I am with you among the witnesses for this. Then whoever turns away after this, they are the rebellious who turn away from God's obedience. Do they seek other than a religion of God, while to him submitted all creatures in the heaven and the earth, willingly or unwillingly, and to him shall they all be returned? So this was the Arabic and the English translation of the meaning of verse 1 all the way to verse 83 of chapter 3 al imran and i will continue tomorrow thank you so much for staying this long bye